the F100 Super Sabre. Sleek, lightning quick, and notoriously hard to pilot. A jet that was beloved by the heroes who flew it. A plane that left an indelible mark on aviation history. In 1953, the F-100 performed its first test flight, developed from the prototype YF-100A. The Super Sabre became the first fighter jet to exceed the speed of sound. The F-100 continued to set new world speed records, including a flight speed of 822.5 miles per hour over the Mojave Desert in August of 1955. Later nicknamed the Hun, short for Hungry, the F-100 was part of the Century series of fighters. Four models of the F-100 were produced. The F-100A, a pure day fighter. The F-100C, with tactical nuclear capabilities. The F-100D, with added flaps and huskier weapons delivery capabilities. And the two-seater fighter, the F-100F. 2,296 total F-100s were produced, also spawning seven RF-100A aircraft, although the 45-degree wing sweep allowed the F-100 to achieve supersonic flight. There were other design factors that created a slew of issues. In 1956, First Lieutenant Barty R. Brooks was killed in a fiery crash. The power of the F-100 afterburner made the plane almost vertical, causing adverse yaw, a stalled compressor, and oscillation. This occurrence became known as the Sabre Dance, with many other pilots suffering the same consequences. This design flaw was eventually corrected by lengthening the vertical stabilizer and extending the wings. In 1957, Major James Risner flew an F-100F Super Sabre across the Atlantic, setting a record of 6 hours and 37 minutes. The jet was nicknamed the Spirit of St. Louis II, named after the very same flight Charles Lindbergh had made 30 years prior. The F-100 had a laundry list of notable achievements, including the first fighter jet to fly over the North Pole the first ever aircraft to successfully perform buddy refueling and the first fighter to fly combat in Vietnam. Flying over 360,000 sorties, more than any other fixed-winged aircraft in the Vietnam War. In 1967, a group of seasoned fighter pilots with combat experience was assembled in South Vietnam to form a highly classified squadron known by its now iconic call sign, MISTI. Their mission was clear, to fly at high speeds and extremely low altitudes over enemy territory, identifying the different targets. The primary objective was to disrupt the flow of enemy supplies and equipment along the Ho Chi Minh Trail. When a target was located, the F-100F would direct Air Force and Navy strikes against them. Officially, there were 157 pilots assigned to these missions in North Vietnam, but the 157-34 were shot down, making the MISTI missions particularly dangerous. As a result of flying at low altitudes, the F-100 was more open to enemy ground attacks. Ultimately, the MISTI program ended in 1970. After the Vietnam War, Super Sabres were flown in other missions after being acquired by other countries, including Taiwan, France and Denmark. In 1974, Turkey received 200 
F-100s that were ultimately involved in 500 sorties supporting the Turkish intervention in Cyprus. The Super Sabre was officially retired by the United States National Guard in 1980. Despite the high accident rate, the F-100 Super Sabre was beloved by its pilots. With roughly 30 F-100s remaining today, only a few of them are deemed airworthy. Still, the F-100 Super Sabre remains a key component in aviation history.